swordman rotary brush? What are you talking about? I need a new chair since I'm the king of sand. Uh, I had a few buckets laying around. Just so happened to be my size. Nah, just kidding. Buckets are here because I'm going to use them again. Not all of them. My chair will get a little bit smaller. Uh, but it is time to do the next leveling. So, this time around, I will spread it as I go with the leveling rake. And uh, also got this handy dandy doohickey. Bam! It's the Swordman Rotary Brush. This should make quick work of the job. Let's check out how you install the Power Rotary Brush. It's super easy. Like, so easy. It's cheesy. So we're going to take off the tin reel and we're going to put on the brush. So let's do this. Here's a little trick. Take a magnet, put it on here. Instead of keeping your tool in here because that bag, it's hard to get it in and out. I'm not going to lie. That's where I keep all my paper. Bam, I just put it there. Got the wrench on the other side. Bam. Because you know you always get down on your knees when you're doing this and you go, oh, I didn't get my wrench. Bam, they're right here. Anyway, so to change the reel, gotta put the reel all the way up. So now it's elevated. Lock it in place on that side. Take your Allen wrench. And just loosen it right here. This side you gotta take off the cover. Magnetic, super easy. Put your screws inside there. Just screw down here. Get it loose, put the key in, turn it. And if it turns a little hard, just lift up on your on the cartridge a little bit, loosens it up. Same thing when we put it on. The holes line up, but they're tight. Nice, right, so get this off. Don't misplace these, but if you do, the other cartridge comes with it. And then you take off this belt right here. Super loose. Usually it's super loose. Yeah, there we go. Take the belt off. Put it down there. Bam. Now all you gotta do. Set it aside nicely. That's what it looks like on the underneath side. Bam, bam. Put that over here. Now let's grab the uh, rotary brush. Okay, now you just reverse order. Here's the rotary brush. Here's the screws that comes with it. All right, so now you take it. So this goes in here and these, this part. Looks up on this bar down there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Make sure you're on the back. Okay, it's in place. Get your screw started. Blah, blah, blah. Same. And then we put it on the other side and we screw. All the way in, screw. Tightening, doesn't have to be super tight. 
and we tighten. Bam! And now we put back the belt. Just like that. And we're on. I shot a little video earlier yesterday. I put uh, just potting soil and in ground potting soil or miracle growth. Thinking they wouldn't have wood chips in the potting. So I dumped the whole bag and I spread it. As soon as I dumped it, I saw all the wood chips. So I was kind of pissed. And then uh, the in ground had the same, same problem same wood chips. So they're selling at two different prices and you're getting what appears to be the same product. Um, so anyway, I worked that dirt into the ground and I used this to pick up all the, the wood pieces. It worked fantastic. Here's some footage of that. Pretty impressive, right? Very impressive. And then uh, I did take a bucket of sand and then I spread it out there, leveled it with the leveling rake, and then I went over with this, and like magic, the sand is gone. Check it out. This sand is moist. We'll do it again when it's dry, but today we're gonna do it with moist sand. Let's throw it out. tell you about the Lowe's bucket scam. One, they're pieces of crap now. Two, you pay for the bucket, you think you'd get the lid with it. The lid costs, shoot, I don't know, like a dollar or something? Like half the cost of the bucket. Like who buys a bucket without a lid? Almost had to take out a loan for this. Well, you know, I bought 27 of them. So that's kind of scam, that's a scam. I guess you pay more because it's like a drum. Let's start spreading. All right, let's put the guard on. All right, there we go. Let me get the magnet. All right, let's roll. Let's get that sand in the ground. That's it for I'm Low. Remember, mow, grow, and repeat. Smash that like button and leave some comments below. Anyway, I added this footage after I shot that footage. So there's two closings. That was the first. This one's the second. Peace out, everybody. Here's the final. Minus that piece of paper and the leaves I blew in there. Sand looking sweet. Over here, after I did a little hand picking, if you know what I'm saying, gonna give this a quick mow. Water it in tomorrow. But it's green, dude. It's carbon. Carbon X. You gotta do it like Doc, where he barely, he just touches it like that. He doesn't spread it because he doesn't want you to see down inside. You can look at mine. There you go, some sand down in there. But it's thickening, in, thickening up. I'm digging. Guess you can't really see how green it is over here. But it's, it's pretty green. But then I also got where the sprinklers are hinting. <laughs> Look at that. That was all dead grass, I just peeled it away. All along the side here. So I've been hand watering that. And then I did a trimec. You can see where I had all the, the uh, what is that called? Not sedge. Spurge. I had spurge everywhere. That's where all that is. There's my trash can.
grass is filling in good here. Still a little bit of sand left. I'm gonna do the dirt trick over here tomorrow. And uh, just touch up these watering areas. Well, that's all from the, that's all from the weed spray. Might have been drinking and laid a little heavy. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't drink. All right, cheers guys.